hello guys welcome back to input cut tutorial today this is what we are going to draw you can see we have a circle in here and another circle in here first circle radius 24 this one radius 60 and um, let's get that done so radius 24 double click on your scroll bar or scroll button on your mouse to bring your drawing close then the second one radius 60 now can you see this so we are going to draw a construction line across here through the center of the circle two construction lines will offset this vertical one here by 34 and will offset the horizontal line or the horizontal construction line by 10 by 10 which is this 20 here so you can say construction line one two offset by 34 from this place to this place accept offset by 10 from this place up from this place down enter then trim because I will have to trim these parts this part and I think this and this and this we can manually delete the rest of the lines that are not necessary this three line this line this line okay this and this including this one we we'll simply click this to erase so we have this now we can virtually locate this distance here 232.5 units so another construction line offset by 232.5 from this place to that place Can you see that now we have this position so we can see that the radius of this semicircle here is 22.5 or we can say arc uh, yes it looks like a semicircle too so the radius is 22.5 uh, unit so and the distance from this face in by 37.5 you find the center around this point so let's do this first from here in by 37.5 so offset by 37.5 from this place in you can see that so I would like us to draw a construction line to pass through that center you know this will be the center and this will be the center um, without much stress we can see that the radius is 22.5 so i'll just take a circle and draw a circle of radius 22.5 units around here 22.5 and i will take a line and close that and then close this as well so we can just trim this off and this off um, can you see that now going back to the diagram we have an offset from this position up by 18.81 the same thing will happen here 18.81 from this place up so offset 18.81 unit from this place up from this place down yes this is just to get this point right I want you to know that I'm just using this to get this point so I'll trim that away and this away this particular line is pretty useless you may you, do you get what I'm saying this line here I use less because this is not a horizontal line you can see it's not horizontal this line is not parallel to this line 
this line is um, you know kind of uh, tangential to this circle therefore we have to draw that separately so I will simply erase these two then take a line line start to draw from here to the end of the circle but definitely you hold your shift then right click and select tangent and click okay repeat for this side as well hold shift on your keyboard right click select tangent and click so with that we are done with the other side can you see that we are done with this now the next thing is to locate the angle of this line and draw another construction line like this and you can see that the angle is at 134 degrees from the second quadrant so like this to this place is 134 degrees but your AutoCAD calculates from the first quadrant therefore we just have to find the angle from this point to this line so if here is 134 degrees then from here to this place is 180 right you know angle on a straight line 180 degrees therefore from this place to this place will be 180 minus 134 and that will give us 46 degrees okay so we are going to take a line and draw you can see the distance of this line is 150 units um you want to check back okay look from this place to this place is grad is you know given us 150 units so we we'll draw a line 150 units away but at one angle 134 degrees to this side which is also what 46 degrees to this side and we'll be using this so 150 shift less than 46 degrees enter that is the line there can you see that this is 150 units well if you don't believe select this align dimension here and measure let's see um okay 150 so it's correct to delete the dimension now with this we can just simply draw this circle here the first circle 50 radius 15 second circle radius 37.5 almost there so go to home again radius 15 another one radius 37.5 could you see that and then um, you can see that they, this particular line is also tangential to the circle so we just have to close that and we're done line right shift right click tangent to this circle shift right click tangent to that circle enter line the same thing shift right click tangent to this place you can see you you understand what tangent means right and another one shift right click tangent to this circle enter i think we're done so let's delete all these construction lines they really help us they are usually very necessary you see we're done let me see if there's anything to remove okay nothing nothing this is at it it is as it is right now um let's simply just annotate and uh, dimension the work so modify usually i use green in color text size say four unit iso standard lines i use yellow most times baseline spacing i think okay that's okay then offset from origin two all right so let's simply dimension this aligned for this place to this place was 150 you can see that um linear from this place to this place was 232.5 as given earlier okay trying to make everything visible okay from this place 
to this place was 18.81 can you see that um, from this place to this place was 34 units from this place to this place was 20 units yes what else is remaining okay the angle from okay this line okay we may have to leave a line here yes definitely they left a line here so and there's also okay this one is the uh, there's this line here there's a line here there's a line here we forgot to put it if not we will not be able to dimension the angle there from this place to this place okay we will take this and delete the unnecessary one if not we'll have problem imagine it up okay that's okay then we can take annotate angle and angle from this angle to this angle was 134 degrees obviously then the radius radius of from um, the radius of this small circle 24 this big circle 60 big circle 60 radius of this small circle 24 right i think we also have the radius of the other one 15 and 37.5 radius 15 radius 37.5 so i think that is all okay we still have one here radius 22.5 so thank you for watching the video please hit the subscribe button also make sure to turn on the notification button to get notified of our new uploads thank you so much see you in our next video